Yo, what is up, guys? So I know it's been a couple of days since I put out a Black Clover video. Uh, honestly, I've been super into solo leveling Arise. It's been fantastic. But I do want to do some coverage of the update coming out, uh, some good things coming out, and some things that you're going to want to pay attention to and know. But let's go ahead and start from the top, go to the bottom, and then I'll give uh, my two cents on things. So uh, we got maintenance coming out tonight, and it's going to be a four-hour maintenance. We're going to get 220 black crystals from it. So first big thing of this update, we are getting chapter 10. This will be a good opportunity to get some free crystals, some free summons. So that's fantastic. We're getting season six right up of summon, uh, uh, right up summon for ceremony, yami and luck, uh, skill pages as well for right up and then premium black crystal step up for ceremony, yami or luck. And event period is from April 2nd to April 16th. Now, I put out a video on this uh, the other day. Just don't summon for these. If you guys want to uh, gate luck, that's what I would recommend. That's what I'm going to do. Yami just doesn't really have a place. Luck at least has potential of having a place depending on what units are to come out. So definitely, I would say gateway luck. Ignore Yami. Don't even summon on this banner. Save your summons. Now, next up, we got Gear Summon from April 2nd to April 16th. This is not something you're probably going to do unless you're a pay-to-win player. So if you're free to play, just go ahead and ignore this. Uh, we're getting Premium Crystal uh, Gear Step Up Summon as well. Same thing. If you're a pay-to-win, go for it. If you're not, pass it. Honestly, most people aren't going to utilize that, but you never know. So uh, notes for details regarding summoning uh, contents and probabilities, please refer to the in-game summoning probability information. If a mage that has already been obtained appears, it will be converted to an exclusive mage piece. The event period and details are subject to change without prior notice. Uh, event three. So we're going to have a seven day login event from April 2nd to April 16th. Uh, get login rewards for those seven days. That's fantastic. Free stuff. Happy days. And then we got spring picnic basket event, uh, April 2nd to April 16th, uh, complete tasks to obtain materials such as baskets, apples, breads, beverages, uh, craft a picnic basket and give to mages. So this is going to be very similar to an event we've seen before, uh, where it was for the Halloween event. If I remember properly, it was Charmy, Noel, and I think black Asta, I could be wrong on that on the black Asta part, but I do remember it was, you made basically candies, chocolates, whatever you want to call them for that event. Uh, we're getting the dice event from April 16th to April 30th. That'll be the same thing. We've always seen another bingo event for April 16th to April 30th. So a bunch of extra free rewards. We're going to have burning time event for spire of honor, uh, conquer event. That'll be from April 2nd to April 16th. Uh, clear each floor, gain extra rewards. The same thing you guys have seen before. Hasn't changed. Uh, we might get different rewards, but other than that, it's really the same event. Uh, we got arena event arena burning time from April 15th to April 22nd. We got raid burning time from April 18th to April 25th. And we got stamina burning event. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking me when it's coming. I told you probably end of April around the guild, time, uh, guild event coming out. Well, that is what it's going to be. April 23rd to April 30th. Uh, you're going to get uh, consume uh, specified amounts of stamina, receive extra rewards. So the limited time mode, uh, Spire of Honor, is going to have le 15 levels of difficulty, uh, defeat different enemies to receive corresponding rewards. Uh, the raid is going to be uh, plate, uh, plate Chi DNA, and that will give you... If I remember correctly, and I could, I could be wrong, but I believe that is going to be a SSR uh, skill page enhancement versatile piece. So either way, you're going to do this raid. This is very important. I will make sure videos are out uh, for you guys to be able to progress through, uh, quickly through it. If they do this raid similar to the last one, it's going to probably have daily changing events. So keep that in mind. I will try to keep up to date on that. Uh, for the arena game time event for the event arena, 
Uh, it will be limited time event. A power and technique mages are forbidden. That means there will be no black Ostas, and it is going to be green meta in there. So be ready for a lot of shenanigans with green. Uh, they have not announced what the events are. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably going to give you more dupes of swimsuit Vanessa, since we were only able to get her to two star. And if it's anything like the Yuno, that's where it's going to come from. So squad gameplay update. We're going to get squad arena from April 8th uh, to April 14th. Make sure you are in a squad before this starts. If you join a squad during this event, you will not receive rewards. And remember, if they do it the same way they did last time, it's going to matter on what your arena rank is. So make sure you're putting that time in. Be in the upper leagues. You want to push. These are good rewards. And if it's more accessory rewards, you're definitely going to want it. And then let's see, going down further. So that's just basically to join this event, your squad needs yada, five members, yada, yada, yada. It's basically just explaining how the event works. It's going to be the same as last time. So pack events from April 2nd, uh, version update, event detail, season six pack update and growth pack update, premium crystal pack, Yule pack. So I'm curious to see what they do with this Yule pack. That could be really good for some people. I know just uh, myself, I'm hurting for Yule all the time and I know other people are in the same boat. So this could potentially be good. Uh, it is also another cash grab though. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to have a new battle pass from April 2nd to April 30th. That means this season is literally going to last 28 days. So with that in mind, we're going to have, uh, I believe it should be Mimosa and William coming out next. Out of those, I will tell you Mimosa is the way to go. William, you don't really need. Uh, that being said, when it gets closer, I'll do a video on it. I don't want to bore you with the details a month before that you're not even going to remember at that point. Or if you do, props on you. So, continuing down, we're going to have new systems. So, this is the part of the update that I am actually excited for. Advanced Gear Dungeon. Select one Advanced Gear Dungeon to challenge three times each day. So, this will be good for uh, acquiring more gear. We're getting real-time arena uh, spectator ban and pick feature ex uh, function. So this is going to be actual real RTA that you're going to get to see. Now, that being said, it's still not where I want it to be. I want it to be ranked. I want it to actually have a real system and benefits out of it. This is more still a beta phase. That being said, this is a good step in the right direction. It's something the game very much needs. Uh, we're getting the new merge accessory system. So this will actually give you a higher probability to get LR accessories if it's the same as the uh, JP, which I believe it is. Uh, I can't foresee them doing anything other than that at this point, but we'll see. But this is going to be a good chance to get those LR accessories, get some extra LR pieces, get ready to go for this. This is going to be big. And then new cooking feature provides uh, provides diverse uh, cooking methods. This is going to allow you to cook a base meal and then upgrade it to the next meal and then upgrade it to the next meal. I am not a super huge fan of this feature. It's not bad. It will save you stamina in the long run. But if you're someone who just has a ton of stamina to burn through, uh, it's really not going to benefit you that much because it's not like you're getting increased rates out of this. You're just getting better food. So keep that in mind. Uh, game optimization, uh, general challenges uh, for 14 to 15 for city district and ice cavern will get drop increases for city district. You will now get rare enchantment stones out of it. And for ice cavern, you will now get rare talent carved stones. So this is actually really important to note on the talent stones, because eventually we are going to get a system where you can upgrade your talent stones into the next tier by X amount of them. Uh, and that is how you're going to be able to acquire your purple uh, talent stones, which is going to be really important. This is going to take you to the next level of gameplay. Make sure you guys don't underutilize this. It's a great opportunity. 
And then squad, squad renaming feature, added squad entry to the world map. So that's nice. You don't have to go back to the hideout to be able to enter the squad button. So that's prob uh, you know, that's quality of life there. We got red dot prompt when squad sign in is pending, uh, increased character limit for squad greetings, uh, adjusted the function option list for Vanessa and Luck in the hideout. Uh, friends added icon prompt after gifting to a friend uh, friend tagging feature uh, favorite feature inventory categorizing items into gear and accessory added mage filtering uh, features a uh, chat feature improvements no longer notify closed options so just a lot of quality of life stuff a lot of you know good things to come some things that will help you progress it's starting to get more towards where caught up with jp i figure about two months and we'll be caught up maybe three at most but this is really good and what we've been needing for quite a while now if they'll take the next steps in rta and make it a rank system will be kind of where the game needs to be and it looks like they're starting to get the idea of events actually being beneficial and needed so i'd like to start seeing new events being put out but the uh items coming from it is slowly getting better i'm sure a lot of us roasted them on their questionnaire i know i roasted the shit out of them so hopefully they're listening to their community and fixing some of the problems uh we'll see as time goes on but always guys if you do like the content please hit that like and subscribe button and i'll catch you on the next video